Usually, I understand that usually many people don't want to consider long term period. Right. More so, especially business people, they want to see tomorrow instead of uh, 10 years or right. 20 years. Right. right. I agree with you. Mm. So, that, uh, the, the, uh, his policies are very okay. He gets results, yeah, but everything is focused on, on short term. Mm. But interesting for the uh, recent China US war, trade war. Mm -hmm. that uh, Trump pushing us so hard and yesterday we handled Huawei but uh, I don't know what's going on. Mm. Did, did, did he already, I, actually I did not hear this but this is a question to you. Did he uh, make any demands while he was in Japan? Uh, this time? No, I don't mm -hmm. think so. Uh, Shinzo Abe did, did very well, I think. He tried to communicate with him. And uh, right. he decided to buy F-35 F uh, jet from the United States and uh, sort of contract with him. And uh, maybe they discussed many things, I don't know. But uh, this is, I don't read Japanese newspaper. Also Japanese uh, net news, news, news uh, media they didn't talk about a lot about this, this, these things. They, but this time, I think uh, Trump did uh, with uh, Japanese, you know, politicians, not, not so heavy discussion with them. But uh, basically, they did very well. Try to try to confirm uh, mutual mutual you know, kind of relationship, including right. emperor. The only thing I heard is that there was a lot of discussion going on about uh, North Korea and the uh, abductee uh, situation. Yeah, of course, uh, of course, yes, North Korea. And they have uh, no each other, they don't have any discrepancy each other. They understand each other. I don't know how they discuss about South Korea. Mm, right. But uh, I know, you know, uh, I don't know about uh, uh, what. How do you say in English? Just detainee, Japanese detainee in North Korea. Uh, abductees, yeah. Abductees, uh, yes, yes. I, I, they, they talk about that, discuss with them, but uh, this is uh, they. Are, I guess they can agree completely each other. No, 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 no discrepancies. For but those I, I felt that, that that Japan is very much in fear of the fact that that uh, um, Trump is now trying to uh, create some kind of peace with North Korea, mm. and, uh, and and in exchange he will he will forget about the abduction uh, abduction crisis, and and uh, so that was Japan's main concern. But Japan is weak in that respect because uh, the, I think they are willing to give away a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, in exchange for the abduction crisis. Mm -hmm. So, it, I, I, as, as far as I understand, there is there is no sign whatsoever that these people are actually still alive. So I think this time is the Trump. Uh, he intentionally didn't touch agriculture business and automobile business. The two major concerns, but this time he didn't touch it. So he right. announced we're going to uh, uh, he's going to get clear result. In this August or something, something in a little bit several, several months later, and not now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, uh, but not reporting uh, to outlet outfit, but uh, he maybe uh, underground he maybe discussed with Abe the direction mm -hmm. what how to going to settle down, but mm -hmm. this time is officially they don't speak at anything at all. Mm -hmm. So right. it means uh, that this time I think. Uh, Trump just uh, just this objective is court is call. Mm, right. It's my, this is my understanding. Yeah, it's my understanding. Mm. And they didn't discuss about China, 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 U.S. trade war. They didn't. Mm. Uh, also, they didn't talking about Huawei, right? But actually, right. Japanese government are against Huawei's sales in Japan. Right, so I, I believe that, that on, on these terms they're all on the same page. It's, uh, it, it, it's not so; it doesn't really justify a debate because uh, I think they're 
Japan would just be nodding with the, with the United States. They, they don't have a conflict of interest when it comes to agricultural policies, when it comes to cars. Well, actually, cars, I feel that actually Japan doesn't have so much to lose because uh, no. Japan is already fully operational within, uh, yeah, within yeah. the United States. Yeah, so, and this time, um, and trade, Japan, US, uh, Mr. Abe, uh, they, uh, they decided to agree everything, whatever he, he requests for him. Not so much impact for Japanese economy. Right. Right? It's different from China. China case is, uh, you have, uh, they have, uh, they try to uh, support subsidiary for the government owned, owned company. And they try to protect uh, their market still. They uh, also, they need uh, try to steal <coughs> technology from the uh, United States. So this is kind of, you know, a big barrier to each other. Mm. And uh, Huawei is so huge, uh, 180,000 employees and got uh, how, how much, 100 billion US dollars revenue? So America government, American company cannot beat them. So that reason ban them. And they can, cannot compete them. And 5G is already uh, Huawei led uh, the rest of the world. So. America but need the, to need the to leadership of Huawei, like the the the, the, man, the managers on on upper upper middle le level managers, they're all global, uh, highly educated. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, not not Chinese. They're Americans. They're, That's they're right. Global uh, global citizens. That's right. So this time is uh, is is not trade war. This is actually America and feeling. And they are feeling their defeat in the area of 5G, not IT, 5G. Okay, robotics, AI is still America's heavy advance uh, against China, but 5G is completely they are defeated. So they try to want to do, do something. And this is different from uh, China-US trade war. This is a, a kind of a technology war against China. So that's the reason why I do not understand uh, which direction they are going to. Not Trump. I think uh, America is uh, they America great again anyway, right? <laughs> Their message America great. This is not great, you know. They, they are completely defeated, <laughs> <laughs> right? So now is what's going on. It means if if current situation going on, uh, Huawei cannot sell smartphone uh, to Europe to United States, they, they can only the domestic market. So this, this gives them big, big you know, damage. They cannot uh, use Gmail, they cannot use uh, uh, yeah, quantum yeah, yeah, chip, and they can Google, use Intel. Uh, yeah, yeah so, so big, big, big damage. But uh, if time goes on, next three to four years, they can recover anyway. They, they will not be bankrupt. Right. And I mean, it, it basically, like the whole Japanese, it's a American industry is relying on Chinese imports, so it, it's really just hurting a lot of the American industries. Yeah, that. yeah. For example, uh, telephone, smartphone market. If they prohibit 5G or Huawei, they need to pay a lot, a uh, lot okay. investment. This, this is uh, not. It doesn't make sense for American people. No. So, but the Huawei is sustained his position. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, so, so basically, uh, let's summarize the, the European election results. Uh, Go ahead. Num number one, actually, uh, the majority of the votes is still pro-European, and I think that's also big under the under the influence of uh, the whole Brexit movement that the entire. Uh, European movement uh, is actually has, has got much more attention. More people actually uh, showed up for to to vote than uh, than ever before. It's still not even sixty percent, mind you. Uh, only uh, regional uh, regionally there are uh, uh, like for example in northern Germany they had uh, turnouts of more than sixty percent, but across the board somewhere between uh, 50 and 60 percent. Um, so, but, but it, it is much better than it was before uh, because of Brexit, because it's so highly publicized and people really feel that there's something at stake here. 
um, people have moved away from the center because they feel that in the center um, things do not change and the center is actually responsible for the European policies over the past decades and that led to a lot of, um, of uh, bureaucracy, uh, ineffectiveness, um, a lot of things that European is not very well like. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, so that's 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 the, 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 the traditional parties have been um, have been um, punished for that, and people are choosing a way to actually give uh, some meaning to to uh, Europe, and they're they are willing to take more risks in their uh, voting be behavior than uh, they they are when it comes to national elections. So we saw a big a big uh, punishment of uh, the, the middle Labour conservative. Macron, um, uh, CDU from uh, from uh, Merkel also took a big uh, big beating. Uh, so uh, yeah, the, the, the traditional parties they, uh, they they are left out and people are showing showing colors. Uh, populist parties they win, uh, uh, of course. Uh, we saw them. Uh, it was uh, very much on the on, on the headlines, but I think the bigger headline is actually that the majority of the people are still pro-European. I, I don't understand. Uh, European Parliament, uh, populist people won, like a Green Party or uh, Marie Le Pen and the uh, Brexit Party. But how come the Italy, Italy and the Union won? How come they try to uh, re-election uh, for their domestic uh, uh, movement? Uh, why, why the Union Party won? Yeah. No, no, no. The I'm team. talking. They try to from uh, European Parliament going back to their, uh, their national election and they try to do that, right? Um, I don't understand your question. It means uh, they are uh, defeated at the uh, European Parliament, um, Conservative the Party. Union? Not Union, and all over Europe. Uh, populist won, and then yeah. what kind of impact were their local, you know, uh, national uh, ah, okay, so actually none, uh, officially none, but uh, unofficially, of course, they get much more power, because <clears throat> this is kind of a um, uh, barometer of the political situation in the country, mm -hmm. so what you see is that like, if the unionists, uh, if they get a lot of votes, a lot of support during the election, mm. that means that um, at that moment, if there would be elections, national elections, it's very likely that the unionists would win a lot. Mm. That means that basically the unionists will get a lot more influence in Parliament because if uh, they would have an interest in actually having early elections. That means that working against the government and trying to, to uh, 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 new elections to be, um, uh, to be held. So maybe uh, maybe I don't I, I, I don't understand well about the uh, European Parliament election. This is a uh, for country by country they are going to elect a representative by their by their country. Yes. So basically, oh, okay. actually, there are transnational parties. So uh, the socialists from all different countries they they uh, work together into a socialist block, and the Greens they work together in a green block. Um, and the, 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 the right-wing populists and the left-wing populists, they also they work together in their own blocs. Uh, so they create alliances uh, in European Parliament. Voted by their own national? Yes. Mm, okay. So the, the, yeah, the, the Green Party in, in European Parliament is a Green Party that cons consists of Green members uh, from all the uh, European member states. Mm -hmm. By German, right? Well, not only by German, but also by Dutch and by other by other uh, 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 other countries. Um, and uh, yeah, so what, what what we see is that actually uh, uh, they have a, uh, the the the, um, the populist parties, and the, so the, on the cent if, if the ultra right and the ultra left. If you put these things together, because they they both have an anti Europe, Europe vote, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ultra right, ultra left. Have to, have to, if you put these votes together, they have about 170 seats in European Parliament. But that's still. Uh, wait, wait a minute, just only 170 seats? Yes. In total? It, in total. 
on, on a total of 751. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The headlines, the headlines are all about the populist parties, but there can be reality. Well, what, 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 what is 170? 170 seats is what they want. If you put Farage and Le Pen and the uh, Unionists oh. and, and, uh, together, they have 171 uh, 171 votes, uh, seats in European Parliament. Out of 700? Out of 700. Oh, you mean populist people, 170, right? Yeah. Okay. So, By the way, it's, uh, it's a time. Okay, so yeah. uh, are you going to finish this populist this time or are you going to continue next time? Uh, I think basically uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish it. No, you're going to finish um, it. <laughs> well, well, basically what I mean is, is, is that uh, what I wanted to say, there was a video from The Guardian, but basically that's, that's more of a, uh, uh, it, it just shows basically the, uh, um, most of these points, like, okay, the, uh, the populists won, but uh, the, the majority of the, of the voters, they voted pro-Europe. The traditional parties lose a lot, left and right. Green parties win, and 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 the Europeans are are actually they uh, they're voting for Europe again, which means that there is a, a re-engagement for for the European cause, which I believe is a is a good thing. What um, what what's the contents so, of Guardian YouTube? Uh, it's a it's a three minute video. Okay, why don't you show it to me? We can see it Saturday. We can okay. see it Saturday. Uh, let's see it Saturday. Yeah. Okay, Saturday sunrise again. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank you very much, Takasan. Thank you. Would you like to comment? Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, thank you. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, have a Okay, have thank a, you very much. Well. Uh, see you Saturday, okay? See you on Saturday. Okay, good. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Okay, Takasan, see you.